My name is Miss Kim. Let's get started by doing our hello song. The signs are hello, friends. You're going to take your two fingers and make them kind of hug. Hello, friends. It's time, and you're going to point to your watch to say hello. Okay, let's sing it. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Do you want to learn it in Espanol? In Spanish? Yeah. Okay, it's the same signs. Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. Es tiempo a decir hola. Ready? Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. Hola, amigos. Es tiempo a decir hola. You did a great job. So story time, be it virtual or in person, is a great time to bond with your kids. So caregivers, do the rhymes and stories with them. And that will help your kid feel more comfortable and loved. And when a kid feels comfortable, they're more able to remember what they're learning. So, one of my best friends are dogs. And we're going to be reading all about dogs today. The first book is A Good Home for Max. And the author and illustrator is Junzo Terada. Wow, we have the front cover, the spine, I'm going to tickle the spine, and I'm going to high five the back cover. And here's the title, A Good Home for Max. Let's see where Max lives. In a little shop, in a little town, lives a little mouse named Tabby. During the day, Tabby sleeps, snuggled up in a cubby hole. But when the lights dim and the doors shut for the night, <gasps> Tabby wakes up and goes to work. What a good job Tabby does. Tabby scrubs and sweeps his little shop. Can you scrub and sweep, sweep, sweep? He, titles, he, oh, he tidies until everything is right where it belongs. Tabby puts out the newly arrived candies. Where there was licorice yesterday, now there are chocolates. Ooh, raise your hand if you like chocolates. I know I do. Tabby makes a sign for the toys so customers know where to find them. He can't but admire them all. There are cars and rockets and trains and balls and guitars and horns. Beep, beep. Ooh, do you like playing with cars? Tabby's friends are his favorite part of the store. There's Barnaby the elephant, Gemma the giraffe, Clarence the bear. Where is Max the dog? Has he found a new home? No, he's just tucked behind Flipper and Puffer, the penguin twins. Ooh, I love penguins and ducks. But where is Max? New friends arrive every day to replace the ones given new homes to customers. Barnaby, Gemma, Clarence, and Flipper and Puffer all find good homes with a child to play with and a family to love. But Max, the serious blue dog with the red collar, is always left behind. Tabby decides to help Max find a good home. Hmm, what do you think Tabby's going to do? <gasps> Tabby decorates Max with an inner tube in the summer because that would be a good friend on the beach. And a festive hat in the winter because he would be a good dog to play with in the snow. Do you think that helped Max? Oh no. Tabby tried every trick he knows, but everything in the store seems to change except Max. Max is always by his side. What a good friend Max is. To cheer him up, Tabby gives Max a red cap like his own. Now the two friends match. Max looks so handsome. Tabby is sure someone will love him soon. But days and nights pass, and Max is still right there by his side. One night, as Tabby begins scrubbing the floor of his little shop, he notices something different. 
Where are you, Max? Can you help me call out for Max? Say, oh, Max, Max. Tabby asks Regal the lion and Zoe the rhino if they've seen Max, but no one has seen him. Can you make a worried face? Ooh, I'm getting worried about Max. It isn't like Max to hide. Could he have gotten lost? Where could have Max gone? Tabby must find his best friend. Can you put your hand over your eyes and search? Look for Max, look for Max, do you see him? He waits until the morning when he sneaks into a box that is ready for delivery. Maybe Tabby can spot Max as his little shop's delivery truck drives along its route. Beep, beep, let's see, let's get rolling. Brrr. Driving around and round, Tabby passes Mrs. Parker's restaurant, Mr. Diaz's hotel, and the busy school where children are playing. They drive up and down every street in town, but Tabby can't find Max anywhere. Can you help? Max! Oh, Max! As the sun sets, the delivery truck returns to the little shop. Where are you, Max? As the town settles in for the evening, Lights up and down the street flash on. Oh, what are the lights for? Tabby's friend smiles down at him from the window across the street. Max doesn't look so serious anymore. In fact, he looks like he's home. Do you see him in his little red hat? He's smiling. Dogs love home. Max is right where he belongs. Every night, when Tabby is done straightening the shop, he visits Max across the street. They are still best friends. The end. Dogs make the best friends. Do you have any pets at your home? Dogs make such great friends. And they also have body parts. This is a fun song to learn about the ways that their body moves. The first body part is a tail. You're going to take two hands place them together and wag it back and forth like a puppy dog. And we're gonna need to know the sign for the letter D. D is the first letter of dog. You're gonna put your pointer finger up and the rest of your fingers are gonna make a circle. Ready? The tail on the dog goes wag, 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 wag. The tail on the dog goes wag, 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 Dog starts with D. Another body part is the ears. We're gonna take two hands and make them flop, flop, flop. Some dogs go, ears go up, others go down. My dog has one that goes down and up. <laughs> Ready? The ears on the dog go flop, 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 flop. The ears on the dog go flop, flop, flop. Dog starts with D. That's so much fun. Do you know of any other dog body parts? Dogs come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and colors. Let's learn about this special dog called Dogosaurus Rex. This book is written by Anna Stanzenwiski and illustrated by Kevin Hawks. We have the front cover and I'm going to tickle the spine, tickle, 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 and high five the back. And the title is Dogosaurus Rex. Rawr. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's see what happens. I love dogs and dinosaurs. Ben couldn't wait to find the best dog in the world. At the shelter, there were cute dogs and funny dogs and loud dogs, whoo, and smelly dogs. But none of them were quite right. Hmm, I wonder what he's gonna pick. Then Ben saw a large cage in the corner. <gasps> She's perfect, he said. I'll call her Sadie. Roar, said Sadie, wagging her tail. That dog sure has a strange bark said Ben's mom. Hmm. <gasps> ben could not wait to show off his new pet. He used a garden hose for a leash and walked Sadie around town. Boom, boom, boom. Those are some big footsteps. She's kind of funny looking, said the neighborhood kids. 
Does she know any tricks? Let's find out. Sit, Sadie, said Ben. And Sadie sat <gasps> on top of a car. Honk, poor car. Roll over, Sadie, Ben said. And roll, Sadie rolled over <gasps> through a fruit stand. Mm -mm. Maybe she is going to have a fruit salad. Fetch, Sadie, Ben called. And Sadie ran off and came back with <gasps> A mail truck. I think it's best if you take your pet home, said a police officer. Uh-oh. But when Ben brought Sadie home, she couldn't fit through the front door. You'll have to build her a dog house, said Ben's mom. So Ben started building and building until... Can you help build? Get your hammer, 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 hammer. <gasps> he built the biggest doghouse in town. Sadie seemed to like her new home. You're the best dog in the world, said Ben, and he rubbed her belly. And Sadie closed her eyes and said, Roar! She's happy! The next morning, Ben took Sadie out to do her business. She did lots of it, lots and lots of it. Clean up after your pet, a neighbor cried. Ben plugged his nose, grabbed a shovel, and got to work. Can you say P-U? Woo, that's a big business right there. Then it was time to give Sadie a bath. Ben gathered up all the soap in the house and took her to the lake. And Sadie jumped, jumped jumped into the water and drank it all in one gulp. Can you say, oop? Don't come back, the lifeguard yelled. Uh-oh, looks like Sadie's in trouble. Oh no, he wanted to swim and now he can't. When they got home, Sadie's belly rumbled for dinner. Ben poured out some dog food and Sadie ate the whole bag and all the rest of the food in the house. Can you eat with me? And go, yum, 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 yum. This dog sure is a lot of trouble, said Ben's mom. We might have to bring her back to the shelter. Ben hugged Sadie tight. He had to find a way to keep her. Oh no. The next day, Ben walked Sadie through town and everyone avoided her. Then a shout ran out from the fruit stand. Stop, thief! Uh-oh, Ben knew just what to do. Sit, Sadie, he called, and Sadie sat right in the robber's path. He couldn't go anywhere. But the, G the thief, he jumped into a mail truck and got away. Can you say zoom? <gasps> Roll over, Sadie, Ben called, and Sadie rolled over in front of the robber's truck. But the thief ran into a farmer's field and got away. Can you run, 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 run? Get your arms running, run, run, run. <gasps> Fetch, Sadie, Ben called, and Sadie barreled after the robber, and Ben had never seen anything run that fast. Wow. And when she came back, she had the thief clenched in her teeth. <gasps> Everyone in town cheered. Yay! That's quite a pet you have there, said the officer. I think I might have a job for her. Look, she's saving the cat. And so do I, said the mailman. Aw, Sadie's passing out mail. And so do I, said the farmer. Sadie's a great helper in the farm. Soon... Sadie was the most popular dog in town, and Ben knew he'd be able to keep her forever. You're the best dog in the world, said Ben, and he rubbed her belly. Sadie closed her eyes and said, Roar! All the other kids love Sadie too. The end. What's the biggest pet you've ever seen? Just like dogs make sounds like woof, or cats make sounds like meow, 
letters make sounds too. This is a fun game that you can play at home with your friends and family. Just get a bag of letters, pull them out, and sing this song with me. We're going to start with the letter M. Thank you. Ready? Who let the M out? Mm, 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 mm. Who let the M out? Mm, 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 mm. Let's do another letter. And the letter is B. And B says B. Can you say B, B, B? Ready? Who let the B out? B, 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 B. Who let the B out? B, 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 B. Hmm, what's our next letter gonna be? It's gonna be D. Ready? Who let the D out? D, 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 D. Who let the D out? D, D, D. And D is our letter for the, le the word dog. Woof, woof, woof. It's fun to learn letter sounds, but did you know that the sounds that letters make build the sounds of words? And words are in books. Yeah. So we have this great book. It's called, This Book Just Ate My Dog. <gasps> and the author and illustrator is Richard Byrne. So we have the cover and the, tie, the spine, tickle, 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 and the back cover. Let's go ahead and read it. This book just ate my dog. Hmm, that's an interesting title. This naughty book belongs to, hmm, let's see. It is, belongs to Bella. Bella was walking her dog for a stroll across the page when, oh no, something very odd happened. Her dog, he went into the book. He's disappearing into the spine. Bella's dog disappeared. Oh no, can you look for the dog? Say, oh dog, where are you? Can you help her pull the leash and pull, pull? Uh-oh. Hello, Bella, what's up? Said Ben, there's Ben. And Bella says, this book just ate my dog. And she's pointing towards the spine. <gasps> what's happening? Ben decided to investigate. He's going in. Oh no! But Ben disappeared too. And up, up, up goes his balloon. Oh Ben, where are you? Suddenly, help zoomed in. Oh goodness gracious, good. The dog rescuers are gonna come. Yay! Uh-oh. They vanished. Oh no. We uh oh, they're gone. Things were getting ridiculous. Then oh, wee -woo, wee -woo, there is the fire brigade and the police. Oh no, they're going in to the book. They're disappearing. I'll just have to sort this out myself, said Bella. She doesn't look very happy. <gasps> Burp! Oh no! She disappeared too! Sometime later, a note appeared. It read, Dear reader, it would be lovely if you could kindly help us! Please turn this book on its side and shake. Love, Bella. So it says turn around, step one. Step two is shake. Can you help me shake it? Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Let's see what happens. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, look, there's Ben and the police and the fire brigade. They're falling out. Yes. Let's see what happens next. And one last little wiggle. Thank you, said Bella. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And everybody reappeared. There's the dog and Bella and the dog rescue. Even her hat. Yes, we saved the day. And things got back to normal. Uh-oh, they say I needed to read this, but it's not. I have to turn it around. Well, almost. Oh no, his feet. That book. Let's see what happens. 
Dear reader, please tell this book to promise not to be so naughty next time you read it. Thank you, says Bella. What a beautiful picture that Bella wrote. I'm sure glad that Bella could write letters to us. Writing letters and writing words give you power. You can pick up a craft sack at any of your local Fort Worth Public Library branches. They are filled with great materials to do a craft. Let's do our dog craft together. If you don't have a craft sack, what you'll need is some sticky dots, a long piece of paper, two shorter pieces of paper, and something to draw with. Once you have your materials, what we're going to do is take the long strip of paper. This is a sentence strip, but you can use any paper you like. And we're going to make it into a loop like this. You can use glue or tape to connect it. In the craft sack, you'll get these sticky dots. I'm going to use my pincher fingers. I'm going to pick up the glue dot. It's sticky, sticky, sticky and stick it on the paper. There we go, da da da. We just made a circle. This is gonna be our fun dog hat. But wait, we need some ears. What we'll do is we're going to take our paper and make some ears. Ready? It's okay if you don't have scissors. What I'm going to do is just rip it. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Ripping is a great way to make your fingers stronger. I'm gonna rip some hair into it. Those are fun dog ears. Let's do it one more time. I'm going to trace a circle kind of and rip, 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 rip. This is like the dog's hair. Yeah, look at that ear. Now you can take your marker or crayon and make fun dots. I have a dog with dots. Do you have any animals you have in mind? Hmm. Maybe this is a big dog, or maybe it's a baby puppy dog. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, big dots. Let's go ahead and put our ears onto the hat. We're gonna turn it around and take two glue dots. I'm going to take my Pinch your fingers and stick it, stick it onto my ears. One and two. Ta-da! Now we're going to take our hat. I'm going to put this on. There we go. Woof, woof, woof. How fun. Now I have my dog hat. Making your own costumes is a great way to build narrative skills and emotional skills. I can pretend to be a dog, <laughs> or I can pretend that I'm taking care of a dog. What can you think up of? Thank you for joining me in this great story time that's all about dogs. Let's go ahead and sing our goodbye song. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Make your fingers give a hug. It's time to say goodbye. Ready? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. One more time in Espanol, in Spanish. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Adios, amigos. Es tiempo a decir adiós. Bye.